Ainek Tinimbu shocked. Final judgment date released. P2B must do this to emerge victorious. Hello Nigerians, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is no more news that the presidential election petition tribunal has finally announced the awaiting judgment dates. However, at the course of this particular video, we will be unveiling and showing you the date that has been announced and the technicalities involved and the proceedings that the judges have stated they are going to use to make sure they give a credible and fair judgment and also in conglomeration what P2B and his lawyers ought to do on or before that particular judgment is dished out. But before then, let's take a look at this particular statement that has just come out from the MBA chairman. The Nigerian Bar Association president has just made a statement just as the tribunal has released the final judgment date and this has caused a whole lot of reaction. The Nigerian Bar Association president who has just stated recently that Nigerian president Bola Metinimbu, whether people like it or not, Asserting the fact that the Independent National Electoral Commission declared him the winner of the February 25th presidential pool, he is still the president. As a matter of fact, he stated outrightly in his exact words that Bola Metinimbu is Nigerian's president, whether people like it or not. This has caused so much reaction. This statement is coming from the N N Nigerian Bar Association president. A man who is supposed to stand as intermediary between political parties and candidates. A man who is supposed to wait and not give conclusion before the final judgment date. But so it is so, so ridiculous that he has just made this statement. So many persons have reacted towards this, stating if he as the Nigerian Bar Association president is making this statement, that means Bola Metinimbu, Independent National Electoral Commission and APC are up to something. They are up to something, and that is the more reason why P2B's legal team and P2B ought to do some certain actions. They need to take some certain actions, not to make whatsoever plan Bola Metinimbu has now taken up to make sure he truncates that particular judgment will not be revealed. According to his exact words, he stated, as far as the law is consigned today in this country, without prejudice, to the tendency of petitions against the election petition tribunal and declaration of Bola Metinimbu, Bola Metinimbu is still the president and commander in chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. No one is questioning this, but why will he make this statement just as immediately the five man panel of court led by Justice Haruna declared that they are going to fix the final judgment? When, why then did the Nigerian Bar Association president not have made this statement earlier before now? This is calls for serious action to be taken by P2B and his legal team. Well, it is now obvious that the tribunal has released the awaiting final date and everyone is waiting up to the victory coming down to the masses, the victory coming with the evidences that has been proven in the court. Okay, guys, let's go through the particular statement and the declaration made by the Chief Justice of Nigeria over the making sure that the tribunal gives a favorable and equitable judgment. And when we are back, we will now unveil what P2B needs to do and other actions that are required that P2B's legal team has started taking up to make sure that Bola Metinimbu does not see his way through bribing these judges and working hand in glove with the Nigerian Bar Association president with all the statements they have made. Watch this particular video. Uh, what Nigerians expect from me is to comply preserve and abide and protect the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And so be it. That is what I will do, essentially, with the cooperation of my brother justices of the Supreme Court, we shall not fail Nigerians. That is it. Mm -hmm. Yes, Justice Ariola has just stated it outrightly that they are going to work hand in glove in giving a favorable and clear judgment that he is assuring Nigerians of a very clear judiciary process. 
But at this point in time, there has been rumors that Bola Metinimbu and APC are working hand in glove in making sure that they truncate that particular judgment and they change up the laws of not making the judiciary to give their judgment with the evidences they have seen. They want to thwart the constitution and make them use technicalities and at this point in time, it is not very much clear and certain that the presidential election petition tribunal in Abuja has delivered the judgment on the petitions challenging Bola Metinimbu's candidacy and the certificate of return given to him by in Independent National Electoral Commission on Wednesday, September 6th. This final judgment date has caused so much reaction as obedience are glad to welcome that judgment date because that is the day that everyone is yearning for. That was the date they were waiting for before they started the peaceful march of all eyes on the judiciary. It is now left for P2B's legal team to swing into proper action by making sure that the evidences they proved in the courts as against Bola Metinibu's candidacy and how Independent National Electoral Commission collaborated with them and purported the evil of giving a certificate of return to someone who did not get 25% aggregate vote in FCT, someone who has a related drug case, someone who submitted fraudulent certificates and someone who has no elementary qualifications to even emerge in the apex seat of this particular country all these are the evidences P2B's legal team should now also hold within their archive to approach that court. And good thing, the court has placed good reforms in making sure that this particular judgment will be televised and it will be on a live broadcast. And that is what obedience and everyone is yearning for, that the judgment date should be announced, of which is that it has been announced. And now the court has also approved the sequence of making sure that all the presidential petitions and all the judgments on that particular day, the proceedings will be televised and it will be on live broadcast. Well, what is your take over this judgment date that has been announced? And how do you anticipate P2B's victory with the evidences he has shown in the court ever since the pre-hearing? React on the comment section and do well to hit the subscribe button.